Hello, welcome to this bite-sized learning clip designed to make you more effective at work. I'm Nikki, and today we'll be looking at quickly analysing information using conditional formatting and filters in Excel 2010. Here we have a list of sales transactions, but this tool will work with any kind of data and is especially useful if your lists are really long. First, we're going to take a look at how to see the top 10% based on the sales value. Let's start by selecting the cells. For ease here, I'm going to select the whole column. Then we need to ensure we're in the Home tab. Then click on Conditional Formatting in the Styles group. From the list, we go to Top Bottom Rules and choose Top 10%. Here we can change things if you want to. I could change the percentage or the colour, but today I'm going to stick with the standard options. And there it is. At a glance, we can see the top transactions. What's more, if any of the data changes, so will our conditional formatting. As you can see, the formatting alone can make it easier to work with your data. However, you might just want to see those top 10% of transactions. If you want that, you can now do a filter based on the conditional formatting that we've already applied. For this, I'm going to go to the Data tab and turn on the filter. Those little drop-down arrows show us that the filter is ready to go. From the sales drop down, I can now select either sort by colour or filter by colour. So, with just a few clicks, we're looking at just the information we need. Of course, the full list is still there. When you finish your analysis, you may want to put your data back to normal. Click on the filter button to turn off the filter. Then, to get rid of the formatting, simply return to the Home tab go back up to conditional formatting and select clear rules, clear rules from entire sheet. There are lots of other WYSI options under conditional formatting so I really recommend you experiment with them and see how they can save you time. Thanks for joining us today.